Okay, so here we go. My first time ever boiling live blue crabs myself. There are some red potatoes in here, some small red potatoes. Uh, this bag of what I have right now, this Louisiana crawfish shrimp and crab boil. Uh, this is for two dozens of crab. I just have about a half a dozen. So I'm going to use j just slightly under half the bag. I also have some seasoning in it and some more that I'll be adding of a different kind, just other kind of seasoning. My mom told me this story where she tried to cook crabs once herself and I guess she didn't have the water hot enough and uh, they start climbing out the pot. <laughs> so I just don't want that to happen to me today. But I decided to record this just in case something interesting happens. If not, then we'll just have my first time cooking crabs on foot, uh, footage. Uh, with this size pot, um, it's about six or seven crabs in this bag. With the size pot this is, I'm probably going to cook about three at a time. They're not very big crabs. Uh, small to medium size. So it's what we're working with right now. Okay, and here we go. He doesn't look like he really had any fight in him at all. But I do say, like, I had ice on top of them because the place where at the farmer's market, they didn't have them in water and ice like I feel like they should have. So I had them give me some ice. Um, but he's moving a little bit, so we know they're alive. I had him give me some ice so I can put on top of the bag um, to keep him cold while I got home. But mind you, um, when you put when you put crabs on when you put crabs on um, ice, it kind of numbs them. And you'll see people when they make garlic blue crabs, they will while the crab's still alive, they'll pull it put it on the blue ice to numb them so that they can pull the backs off and clean it out. But you don't want to buy some people will you don't want to buy a dead cook buy and cook a dead crab. You always want your crabs to be alive when you cook them. when you buy them when you cook them. Okay, so it looks like I have two in the pot and three more in the bag. So it looks like I had five crabs. So just under a half a dozen. Just make sure that those legs move a little bit like I see them moving. I know I'm not dealing with a dead crab. And try not to let the crab slip out of the tunnel. <laughs> How about that? I knew I was going to do something stupid. That's why I wanted to film this. I also purchased some shrimp. I will be adding no shrimp. Um, I'll be adding no shrimp when the crabs are almost done because the shrimp do not need to cook as long as the crabs. It's impossible for me to cook without making a mess. Something has to go wrong every single time. Never fail. Something has to spill. Something has to overflow. But my food is always good, though. Not the most attractive creatures, are they? But they are yummy. <laughs> so... The potatoes that are in the bottom of this pot is what's really causing them not to go all the way down because it's definitely enough water, but there are potatoes at the bottom of this pot. So I'll meet you guys back after I finish the other two crabs and get the shrimp in and we will see my final product. Okay, so at this point, everything is done. The shrimp, um, I added the shrimp. Um, I have a smudge on my lens, but anyway, I added the shrimp, um, as the last two crabs are coming out, they don't take long at all for the shrimp. That's why you don't want to add them as soon as you put your crabs in. Um, and what I've done here in this bowl was mix some butter colors, a little distorted with this lighting, but, um, this is butter, red pepper, um, garlic, parsley blend, and a little bit of obey melted together. And what I'm going to do now um, I heat it up in the microwave and what I'm going to do now is just pour those, pour that 
on top of my crab, shrimp, and potatoes. You don't have to do this, of course. It's whatever your preference is. Um, a lot of people add corn to their seafood boil. I'm not, um, I'm not real big on corn like that. So for me, I just stuck with the potatoes. And uh, while I'm sure I will eat every last one of these crabs by myself, uh, I'm not about to hit up all of these potatoes. These potatoes were left over when I did a um, sh different shrimp and um, potato blend in the oven. But anyway, here we are. This is my first time. So not too bad of an experience. Have you tried it? What was your first time like? What is your favorite seasoning to use? What do you do differently? Everyone has their own way. Holla back in the comment below. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. I don't always do cooking videos, um, but I'm just trying to share my first time experiences. Now, whether it's cooking or, you know, mountain climbing whatever it is i'm just trying to share a little bit more with you guys and i will work on getting some more hair videos up for those of you who subscribe to my hair for my hair videos and i have to clean up this stove where i splash stuff everywhere but until next time you guys stay fab and eat good peace <laughs>